Yeah, that's right, April. One of the ingredients that long-term forecasters use to make longer-term predictions, like our monsoon, is the state of El Nino, or La Nina. And actually, yesterday, they just updated the status of La Nina. La Nina? It's gone now. It's now transitioned to what we call neutral conditions. And if you look at their forecast here into the rest of the summer, the chance that it stays neutral is pretty high. In fact, our monsoon season, which is pretty much right here, July, August, September, notice this gray bar is almost up to 60%. That gray bar represents neutral conditions. So a pretty good chance that we stay neutral for the monsoon. That means we don't have La Nina and we don't have El Nino. Well, turns out that there's not a huge correlation between the state of neutral conditions and the monsoon. And just to prove that to you, I looked at the past 10 monsoons to show you when we had neutral and what happened then. First, let's just look at the past 10 monsoons. Look at these wimpy monsoons. Last year, 0.74 inches, 2023, 0.15. Decent in 2022 at almost normal at 2.23. The average is 2.43. The last time we were above average was actually in 2021 when we had 4.20 in Phoenix. So it's been a while. All right, now I know you're dying to find this out. What happened during those neutral years since we probably have a neutral monsoon on the way? And you can see it's kind of all over the place. We had one neutral year in 2017, a little bit below normal. 2018, that was neutral, a little bit above normal, way below normal in 2019, and well below normal in 2024 when we also had neutral conditions. This just goes to show that when we look at uh, El Nino, La Nina in the summer, it doesn't tell us a whole lot about the monsoon. Now we should point out the long-term forecast put out by the Climate Prediction Center does have above normal precipitation forecast. At least they're leaning that way as we head into the monsoon, not because of this reasons, but for different reasons going on in the atmosphere. So we'll continue to keep you updated on that, but hopefully we can get a healthy monsoon going. It has been quite a while since that's happened.